Kyrie, nine for 22, two of eight. He still had 22 points, but, you know, just wasn't the Kyrie that we saw in the first two games. And how about Joe Harris? One for 11 for the Nets. This is one of the best shooters in the game. He touched the Space Jam One for seven. I couldn't figure that one out. He touched the Space Jam Ball. His powers are temporarily gone. We got to get him together. One for seven? Y'all was one for eight. This is Straight Talk brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless. So, again, Monica kind of touched on it. After this, like, w- while we were watching it, and Key, I texted you and Jay during the game, and I said, I, it was, th- what was it, 30 to 9 at one point? Uh, 32 to 11 was the first quarter score. I didn't trust it. Like, I, I, I'm not trusting what I see out of the Bucks here at all. And sure enough, it was a two-point game at halftime, and the Nets actually had to lead late in the game and could have won the game. So did the Bucks get back in the series, or was this just like the Celtics series for the Nets, bad game, in game four, they'll be that team that we expect Much to like see. Monica said, you can't depend on the Nets shooting goals, like especially Kyrie, continuing game four. So I don't think that they got back in it like that. I think it's still going to go back to Brooklyn for game five at 3-1. Three, three, I mean, that's just what I could see. Right. You know, and, and so in the end, a bad inbounds play – Woo, talk about it. Oh, my God. Cost the Nets the game, essentially. Terrible play. I mean, it just, you know, for whatever reason, whoever designed it, whatever, the ball. The inbounds play, yeah, not the, the design. In, the the actual out. pass. The yeah, actual it was pass. The actual pass. Side out that Get was it a, together. Was, was a dribbler to the other side of the court. <laughs> and so Kyrie gets it, and then he gives it to Brown, but then Brown, to me, panics when he got plenty of time, and I don't think he was aware of where he was at in the time. Mm-hmm. Instead of just figuring out what to do with it, he decided he was going to go to the cup and didn't finish strong after having a bad night shooting as well. The whole thing fell apart, but it's a, but the Drew Holiday play, and Drew didn't have a great game, but his play... The layup, yeah. Deciding to go at, you know, go at... And Brown was, by the way, and he scores on Brown. Brown mm-hmm. had a great game. Brown's the reason why the Nets got back in the game. Like, he was fantastic in that second quarter. So it's not to put anything on him, but but it's, this, is, this game was more about what are we going to see out of Milwaukee... You know, you saw, you know, Woj talked about it. He was on SportsCenter, and he said, you know, the, you know, those, those in the front office are monitoring Coach Bud right now. Mike Budenholzer, there was a lot of criticism of him after the first two games of the series. And it was, we'll see how they look in game three, because if not, there were fans during the game. I was, I was following on Twitter. Fans during the game, in the second quarter, when the Nets, it was, it was like, uh, it was like 19 to three in the, uh-huh. in the second quarter. Yeah. And they were like, fire him now. <laughs> <laughs> During the game, like, fire, get him out of here see, now. None of this is a secret, though. Like, when you sign Drew Holiday, Giannis gets the super bag. You got 400 mil, close to 400 mil tied up in those two. None of yep. them is, is none of this is a secret. The one thing I do appreciate from yesterday's game is that the Bucks came out swinging. Right? There was a level of intensity there. There was intentional intentionality there. Giannis was getting to his spots and he was scoring. In the first two games, they just felt like they was just out there. Like, oh, these guys are going to win. What we going to do? Yesterday, at least, it felt like they were fighting. It was yeah. a lot of fake enthusiasm to me. Like, when Giannis, I couldn't even take that serious. I agree. And I look was at the just final like, score. I was just I saying to myself, but it was, man, I it felt was better than what we way. had seen in the first two games. Though. I understand that, but the mean mug didn't even <laughs> didn't even do nothing to me. Didn't translate? No. no was it like, wasn't just right. This wasn't a game where you're like, all right, now we got a series. Like, I didn't, never felt like that in this game. I never felt like, okay, now we've got a series. And then I'm looking at We're the fans. We're not going to feel like that, I don't think. Wow. The fans were so the fans was, <laughs> the fans was so excited to win, No, They was just like... They were hyped, yeah. They was that was their biggest man. crowd they had in Milwaukee since the pandemic. For the home team, that has to feel great. I mean, we game shout out to game what, yeah, two here in New York. Like shout out to. The I Knicks. didn't want to bring New York up. I didn't. I didn't want to dig at the Knicks, but that's that. what it felt no, like. It felt I, like I'm saying. It, I'm saying saying the fans should enjoy it. That no, might it was be crazy the though. They was extremely excited and hyped yeah. about that victory. I'm like, do you not realize that you could have been crying? In this situation, Down because if they if but they didn't they knock that down, they didn't let the fans have their moment. Now this is a whole different conversation. Do I think the, did the Bucks impress me enough to say we have a series? That was my no. question. But should the fans have absolutely enjoyed every last drop yeah. and moment? No, no, no. Sure. Yeah. I think what Keith's saying is how mm-hmm. I felt watching the game. Is I never felt like if I was a Bucks fan, that whole I would be like, I don't like this at all. Like we don't we don't look like we've got any control of this series. This is like even so, this game. Not Han, I'm it. surprised. Not they it. did. Think about it, though, Monica. You said it at the beginning. 
Kyrie's not going to shoot like that again. They mm-hmm. scored 86 points. Okay. They scored yeah, the 86 aren't points. Scoring 86 points. They right. scored 86 points with 79% coming from their two big aces yeah. okay, but of what, their points. What yeah. are we talking about, though? Are we talking about the basketball? Because we agree on the basketball part. Or are we talking about the... F- I have an issue with y'all saying the fans should have enjoyed their game. No, no, no. no, 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 no. I'm not saying oh, okay. that. I'm just saying that they were super hyped. Yeah. So, to me... Everything was artificial. Yeah, he's saying that the energy oh. didn't match oh. it what didn't we match. were seeing. Yeah, it didn't match. It wasn't like yeah, the it wasn't like when the I watched the ba- okay. If they scored a hundred and twenty to eighty three, and the fans was acting like that, okay, yes. I'll be okay. like, okay, yeah, but this you, is gonna listen, be serious. Chris Middleton comes on after going six of twenty three in one of them games, and whatever dismally he shot in the in game two. So for to to see your guys at least compete. To me, how bad they looked in one and to two. See them at least. Co- who are you, Coach Co- Bud? Now, compared are you to Bud Nelson, how, is that wait, wait? Are you taking his listen, script? Listen, they look that's what like he says. the bottom of my shoe in games one and two. Like, I, I'm gonna give the fans. I'm gonna let them have all the artificial no, they can have it, they but I'm not giving it to the Bucks. I still oh, don't yeah, trust them, no. and I still think Coach Bud is probably on on thin ice right now with this team where they are right now. There's no I doubt see. about it. But they get the win. Okay, so we'll see now what happens in a game four. But Middleton, by the way, his first quarter. He already outdid whatever he did in the first two games. In one quarter, he outperformed what he did in the first two games. So it was nice that they got him to show up.